Hi, my name's Luthien. Um, I did an introduction video, but I tend to ramble a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And it wound up being like 26 minutes long and my phone has a limit of four gigabytes recording space at once. So I even had to like divide it up in two parts. So I decided those are going to be like the second and third video. And this is going to be the introduction video because I, I didn't want to ramble. Um, so I'm Luthien. I'm 36. I was born April 17th, 1981 in Indiana. Um, I consider myself to be genderqueer, um, but mostly with female pronouns. And, um, I do consider myself to be a lesbian. Um, I have a, an amazing partner. We've been together for almost three years. Um, we have two beautiful children, um, a 13 year old son and a daughter that will be 11 in a couple of weeks. Um, I live in the Santa Cruz mountains, so I'm about a 30 to 45 minute drive north of Santa Cruz and about an hour to an hour and a half drive south of San Francisco. So in California, United States. Um, so, you know, it gives you a basic idea of where I live at. Uh, it's a beautiful place. Um, I'm creating this blog more than anything to uh, talk about my experiences with all of my different health issues and pain issues um, to hopefully help people feel less alone, um, to maybe reach out and give support, to hopefully get some people reaching out and giving support back. Um, also, I have a lot of issues with the medical field, um, all of which are due to personal experience. So over however much time it takes. Um, I will share those stories with you. Any of the medical staff, doctors, nurses, whatever that I remember the names of, I will definitely put them in here um, so that people can be better informed about, um, you know, what the, who these people are, what these people do. Um, there are some doctors I would have gone to sooner if I'd known the experience I had there was going to be the one I was going to have. There are some doctors I would have never, ever gone to if I had known that the experience I was going to have was going to be the way it was. Um, so my health issues, I, I think I'll remember all of them. Let's start at the top and work our way down, hopefully. Uh, so I have migraines. I get them daily. Um... I have non-epileptic seizures. I hit 30 like a brick wall. I suddenly started getting a ton of seizures right after my 30th birthday. We don't know why. Um, let's see. I have TMJ, um, which, you know, it's pretty severe. My This one's worse than this one, but um, my jaw entirely dislocates every time I open it wide enough to take a bite. Um and sometimes it'll dislocate when I'm actually like biting down on food too. So that's fun. Um, I have a, a torn ligament in my wrist that happened when I was 13. My parents are faith healers. So, um, you know, they decided God was going to heal it. By the time I, as an adult, was able to get it looked at and diagnosed, of course it was too severely, um, you know, deteriorated for them to reattach. Um, I have ganglion cysts in both of my wrists. I've got osteoarthritis, um, in my entire lumbar spine, in my hips, um, in both of my wrists and in my right thumb at the base of my right thumb. Um, let's see, top working our way down. Uh, I guess the next one would be fibromyalgia. Um, I guess it depends on, cause you know, since it affects your whole body, I'd I'm thinking too much into that. Um, so yeah, fibromyalgia. And then, um, I already mentioned the osteoarthritis in my lower back. I have a, um, a, a very badly, um, ruptured disc in my lower back between the L5 and the S1. Um, I have something called adhesive arachnoiditis, which, the reason the last video was so long is because I went into explaining what it was and how I got it. Uh, it's in the, the top 100 rarest conditions in the world. Um, 
but I don't think that it will be rare much longer. So you guys can look it up. Um, I will tell you later, um, you know, about how that happened, how I got it, etc. Um, and you know, more about what it is. So let's see. Um, I am on welfare. Um, you know, cause I'm disabled. I can hardly walk. I can't work. Um, and of course, you know, there's a lot of stigma about people that are on disability. There's a lot of stigma about people with fucking eyebrow tattoos. There's a lot of stigmas about people that are gay. You know, it just, there, I, I want to show everybody that the stereotypes are not always true. They're really not. And with some of the ones that I face, they're actually the rare exceptions. Like that horrific story about the welfare queen that so many people like attach to. Yeah, no. Um, the welfare that I receive makes me in the bottom 10% of poverty level. Okay. I, I'm not wealthy off of welfare. We, we barely have enough. Um, in fact, the amount that I, the amount of money I get monthly is less than half what the rent is on our little 800 square foot abode, 700, 700 square foot abode. So, you know, it's, I, I'm not rich off of it. I'm not, um, I politically, I tend to lean towards Green Party, although socialism seems like a pretty good idea, so long as the people that are running the society are good. Um, I'm very much for the environment. I'm very much for an extremely live and let live attitude. I think that the laws in our country are very messed up because we, we spend too much of it on things that don't matter too many, too much money in our, our penal system too too many jails, too many lives lost for things that they shouldn't have been lost for, you know? Um, let's see what else. Um, I would consider my parenting style to be very much attachment parenting. Um, very, very, very much so. Um, you know, attachment slash free range, because to me, the there's are pretty much, I, like, I don't think that you can really have one without the other personally. Um, but maybe you can. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I, I love to learn new things. I love to learn new things. I, I, life is just an amazing, beautiful place, even, even when your pain is so bad that you would, you wish at that moment that you could die to just make it go away. So, um, I'm sure that the, my videos, channels, whatever channel thing, whatever it's called, I'm sure that they'll like progress as I go along, but that's just my little like thing describing a little bit about who I am. You know, feel free to ask me any question you want, um, about my opinions, my beliefs, my theories, my health you know, um, my experiences and the, and any type of system that I've been in, like anything. I, my life is an open book. Um, so yeah, that's it for now. Bye everybody.